What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco Exchange. Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Hope you enjoy. All right, so y'all, I've been wanting to play with this heart frame since I saw it. So, all right, and my heart is a little lopsided. This side is nice and tight. This side is a little bit more extended. So this is the side that I'm gonna to choose to decorate over here, because I'm gonna do it at an angle so that it hangs on the customer's door like this. And then I'll fill in some of this so that it looks more in shape, right? All right, so. Because of how this is done, y'all, I'm going to steal part of this swag. So, the swag, y'all, is about 30 inches. Y'all, you really only need a good 20-inch swag. So I always like to steal the bottom. Y'all, we'll save this for another project. We're gonna fluff out our little piece here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take a zip tie and I'm gonna mount it up here on our heart. Y'all, we're gonna use our zip tie. All right, let's trim this. I thought this would be just a really nice, fun filler flower on this piece. So we don't need a stem. That's a bit much. Let's trim that down. So I'm just going to use the branches that are here to secure this in. Get this nice and full. Y'all, I kind of want the pieces to hang down towards the front. Look how fun that is already. Okay, because this piece is so thin, um, I only really want to use thinner ribbon. So, y'all, I'm going to just do single loops. And I'm gonna do this one at about six inches. All right, let's use a little bit of the solid red next. Y'all, we're just doing single loops because we don't want a huge bow covering up the whole heart. I'm doing one of the tails longer, one tail shorter. All right, so y'all, we're just making one loop and two tails every time.
All right, so we got our two pipe cleaners together. Put this right in the center. We're gonna push down as tight as we can with our thumb and our other fingers so that we can tighten this up. Whenever we do that, our little ribbon pieces should pop up. If they don't pop up, we're in trouble. So y'all, I wanna like picture how this is gonna hang on the customer's door. All right, so we're gonna get our bow pulled and nice and tight. All right, y'all, I wanna get these ribbon tails um, pulled forwards and backwards so that some of our white flower shows. Y'all, look how cool it looks just like this. All right, let's trim up our ribbon tails. Y'all, we wanna make sure we don't lose the heart shape, right? So I'm trying to make sure that um, these pieces stay on the opposite side of the center of the heart, right? So that people can still see what it is. And then on this side, I want the pieces to hang down lower, right? We wanna keep some of our pieces coming out this way. We wanna try to keep the shape of that heart the best that we can, y'all. All right, I'm also gonna try to keep the ribbon tails where they don't go down further than the flower stems. All right, look how pretty. I already love it just like this. I kind of want to get a little bit of the other flowers in there. Y'all, I'm gonna keep mine where it stays at the same angle as our heart. And then just kind of work it into that greenery base that we added on there. And right to the back. All right, so see how we have some of the red coming out the top? Let's get a little bit of the red coming out the bottom. Gonna do the same thing down here. Right out the bottom. To kind of make sure that it's all elongated like we want. All right, and then I'm gonna bring one up into the center that comes out this way. Look how pretty. Y'all, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on where those zip ties are to make sure they don't scratch anything. That was fun. So I want it to hang at this angle, maybe more like this right here. So I'm gonna put a hanger now, y'all, normally on grapevine wreaths, I would not add a hanger, but because this one needs to hang at a particular angle, I'm going to put a little pipe cleaner, get it tightened up. 
And then I'm going to make just a little loop for a door hanger and a hit. Bye, y'all.